Hello! In this figure we have two circles, each passing through the center of the other circle. So the center of the blue circle is D and the center of the yellow circle is E. These two circles intersect at the points C and F. If a line passes through the points F, A and B and the line segment AB is 7 units, then what is the line segment AC? To solve this problem, we will start by connecting a few more points. First, we will connect the centers D and E, and we can say that this line segment is the radius of the blue circle or the radius of the yellow circle. We will also connect the points D and C and D and F, and as you see, each of these line segments represent the radius of the blue circle. Now we will also connect E and C and E and F and now these line segments represent the radius of the yellow circle. So because all these line segments are equal, we can say that we have two equilateral triangles. And this means that each of these angles is a 60 degree angle. Now, if this angle is 60 degrees and this is also 60 degrees, then the angle CEF is 120 degrees. In the next step, let's use the geometry principle for inscribed angles. To the right, we have an example of an inscribed angle, and by definition, an inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and the sides are two chords. Now, this principle tells us that an inscribed angle is equal to one half of its intercepted arc. So, in this figure, this is the intercepted arc, and let's say that this intercepted arc measures 140 degrees. Then the inscribed angle will be half of 140, which is 70 degrees. But now, what if we pick another point on the circle for another angle? And let one side of this angle pass through this point and another side pass through this point. Then, as you see, this blue angle intercepts the same arc. And this means that the measure of this angle is also half of 140, which is 70. Now, let's go back to our problem. The angle CEF is an inscribed angle in the blue circle. This angle intercepts this arc, and if the measure of this angle is 120 degrees, then the measure of this arc will be twice 120, which is 240. Now, let's take a look at the angle CAF. This angle like the blue angle to the right, is another inscribed angle in the blue circle. And this angle intercepts the same arc, so its measure has to be half of 240, which is 120. And now, if this angle is 120, then the angle CAB has to be 60 degrees, because these two angles are supplementary angles. In the next step, we will connect the points C and B. And now we have a triangle A, B, C. Now we need to understand that in a circle, one full rotation is 360 degrees. And if this arc is 240 degrees, then this one will be 120 degrees. And because these two arcs are equal, then this one is also 120 degrees. And now let's take a look at the angle C, B, F. This angle has the vertex on the yellow circle and it crosses the yellow circle at the points C and F. Then its intercepted arc is this one and it measures 120 degrees. This means that this angle will be half of 120, which is 60 degrees. And now in the triangle ABC, 
if this angle is 60 degrees and this one is also 60 degrees, then angle C will also be 60 degrees. So this triangle is an equilateral triangle and if AB is 7 units, then AC is also 7 units. So we will write that AC equals 7. And now the problem is completed. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and thank you for watching.